therefore the atman cannot exist without atma shakti not possible if there is no atma shakti it's not atman if there is no light it's not sun though sun is different from its light yet they are one and the same so is the case with the mother divine and shiva the ultimate reality which is not subject to change it has no gender it's not she it's not he it's not child it's not old it is no it has no name no form yet you use a name and form to go beyond the name and form so this prana now we'll discuss something about prana we have understood something about chatushtayanta karana and we know this body is dropped mortal part is dropped yet unconscious part body and individual soul is there and when you lead drop this body you go with individual soul with this shakti and unconscious mind this unit goes with you that's called death according to your definition after death you don't die you still live that's the greatest tragedy in human life you think that you will be relieved not possible your accounts do not have same account book which you had at last year the account book is changed and the accounts continue now now how this flow of energy is there in the human body from crown chakra to this is human body only up to this these are limbs this is called human body how this this is in human body this i do charles <laughs> okay i can make good drawing out of it and it will look like you <laughs> at the root of the spinal column as the scriptures say there lie a power house now please be attentive Now go to a tropical country where the temperature goes higher than 120, 30, 40 degrees, and use a stove at home. You can cook your food in the same temperature. Why can't you cook in that temperature? You cannot because it is not. condensed you see now in winter there are countries where the coolness goes beyond 0 degree the lecture continues why do you not create air conditioner in your home to many other things because it's not what you need you need to condense the energy use the flow of energy which is all over the body is scattered by going to its power house first and that power house looks like this that's what the sages say it looks like this it's based at the root of your spinal column in the power house that energy which is called kundalini is like this like 
coiled. Now, the yoga science says there is a flow of nectar from this part of the body. She ditched that flow of nectar and remains intoxicated. It's not the wine that you find in the market or liquor. Its intoxication is heavier than that. I tell you, yes. Even japa intoxication is very heavy. I tell you one my one of my I got disgusted. I said, what is this life? All my youth I have spent in the mountains, you see, and nothing is working. Now, I threw away my clothes, started walking on the banks of the Ganges towards the Himalayas. I said, I will drop my body wherever I want, I will realize. So I made few promises. I will hold my hands like this. Never beg, never talk to anybody, never look back. Started. There is a small bridge, a Ganganani. So I was like a lord of the universe, with all fears were gone, all hopes are gone. I was walking. So. Suddenly, my eyes were open, so I saw somebody just three, four feet distance, someone having big moustache, and I stopped, and I opened eyes, there I saw a tiger. I had to decide in a second which death is better. Shall I jump in the Ganges, one death? Shall I submit to this tiger so that he injures me, hurts me, eats me? Or shall I run back? Which death is better? There was no choice of life. The question, what type of death is better? That was the choice. You know what I chose? To go forward is better than any other thing, no matter what happens. So I was in silence, nothing came from my mouth, and mm, you're out of here, <laughs> and something, I, I was very sure that I was observing silence, so I, my lips closed and I said, mm. so that tiger said, perhaps more dangerous tiger is in front of me. <laughs> tiger was also afraid to come forward to jump in the river, turn back and run away. And I thought I was all alone. I said, this is my victory. You see. Even I left everything, still there is fear of death. I knew something. I knew that it was tiger. I would have. Why did I not pet that tiger? The scriptures say like this, Ahinsa Pratishtayam Tatsanidav Vairityaga. Why did I not pet that tiger? Why was I afraid with that cat? What that cat could do? do? All that knowledge of the scriptures <laughs> came later, but not during that time. I am being very truthful to you. I won, but at the same time, when I went to the other side of the bridge, I was sad. I know you have dropped all your hopes for life, for anything worldly. Still, why did you stop? Suddenly I remember, when Buddha decided to denounce his home, palace, he decided, and somebody was going to help him to go beyond his kingdom to lead him to that border. He turned back from the, you see, door just to have a glance of his only one son, once more. Who prompted him to do that? 